Welcome to Part 2 of the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Tunnel Creation video series. In Part 1, I discussed the advantages of using tunnels to connect your hubs in UIM, and I showed you how to create a tunnel server. In this video, I will show you how to create the other side of the tunnel, known as the Tunnel Client, using Admin Console. The Tunnel Client connects to a tunnel server. A hub can have many tunnel clients, but only one tunnel server. I will create a tunnel client on a secondary hub using Admin Console. I log in to Admin Console as the administrator and select the secondary hub. I select Robots, and a list of robots controlled by the secondary hub opens. I select the secondary hub robot. A page with general information about the secondary hub robot opens. I select Probes, and a list of probes deployed to the secondary hub robot opens. Tunnel clients are created and configured in the hub probe. I locate the hub probe in the list and click the Inline Actions menu button next to it and select Configure in the drop down menu. The hub probe configuration page opens. I select Tunnel and enable the Tunnel Active checkbox. Then click Save and OK when the configuration is successfully written. I select Advanced Settings. The default tunnel port is 48003. If I needed to use a different port due to firewall rules, for instance, I would enable the Ignore Controller First Probe Port checkbox. Then enter the port number I want to use for the tunnel client in the First Tunnel Port field. I will be using the default port number 48003, so I won't make any changes to this page. I select Client and click New. I make sure that the active checkbox is selected. Enter the IP address of the Tunnel Server Hub. Enter a description. And enter the password I created for the Tunnel Server Certificate. In the Certificate field, I paste in the certificate I saved earlier when I created the Tunnel Server. Then click Save. And then OK to refresh the configuration. My Tunnel Client is created. The Tunnel Client is named My Tunnel Client. The Tunnel Client is now active and configured to talk to my Tunnel Server at the Tunnel Server Hub IP address. As a final step, now that I have a tunnel between my two hubs, I must delete any static hubs I was using. Static hubs are not secure and they can hijack tunnel communications. Once I have created tunnel connections between all the hubs in my UIM domain, I'll delete the static hubs to be sure I'm using my new secure tunnels. I also need to make sure that any static hubs that might remain in the cache do not get recreated. For each hub in the domain, I'll select Name Services in the Hub Probe configuration. There is a static hub defined here between my primary and secondary hub. I need to delete it, so I'll select Actions. Remove Static Hub. When the request is successful, I click Reload to refresh the configuration. I can see that the static hub has been removed from the static hub list. I select Advanced. If Broadcast On is enabled, I disable it. Then click Save. And click OK when I receive a success message. My tunnel client is now created and connected to my tunnel server. Before I create queues for the tunnel, I need to perform post installation tasks for every hub in my domain. See the Post Tunnel Creation Steps video for Windows Hub Servers or Linux Hub Servers next. For more detailed information about configuring CA Unified Infrastructure Management Hubs, refer to the CA DocOps platform. Or visit the CA UIM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.